Hey guys, so I thought today would be a perfect opportunity to film a quick video on how I raise my angelfish. Especially because right now I have angelfish uh, fry and eggs in pretty much every stage of development. So I thought I'd start by just showing a quick overview. So as you can see here, this pair of Philippine blue angels have just laid a whole ton of eggs and they're still going over them. I believe this is the male right here. You can see the lump in his forehead. He's still going over and fertilizing these eggs, which if you're in a community tank or don't trust the parents to um, handle the babies, because sometimes they'll eat them, uh, and you're gonna pull the eggs, make sure you wait because if you pull them too soon before the male gets a chance to fully um, fertilize them, also sometimes you'll see they'll pull eggs like he just bit a few off, ones that they sense aren't good, or sometimes if they uh, will fungus, they'll bite them off. But you wanna definitely wait until the male has a chance to fertilize them, which can sometimes take hours, so Definitely don't pull them right away. And even filming them, you don't want to spook them. Uh, I think she's still laying some too. So you want to give them some good time to, uh, you know, fully lay and fertilize them before you take them, if you're gonna take them. Personally, I almost always take the eggs, especially if it's in a community tank, cause they won't last. Uh, just speaking from experience. But next we'll move on. So after the eggs are fertilized, it'll take about three days for them to hatch. And after they hatch, they become what's known as wigglers. And as you can see here, sorry, it's a little tough to see. I couldn't find a, uh, couldn't find a flashlight. But these guys are wigglers. They're not free swimming yet. And once the eggs are fertilized, it takes about three days for them to hatch into this. Uh, that's at about eight, 78 to 82 degrees. On the warmer side, they'll hatch faster. Colder, they'll take a little longer. But they will start wiggling around, but they're not yet free swimming. At this state, they still have their yolk sacs. You can kind of see it on their belly. These guys are on the further end of the wiggler stage. As you can see, some are starting to reach up and a few are getting really high up there and close to free swimming. But for the next uh, two to three days, sometimes maybe even a little bit longer, their yolk sac will suffice to feed them. Um, you don't need to put any food in there. Any food put in will just uh, poison the water. And before doing this, uh, I forgot to mention, when you do have the eggs fertilized, I usually put a little bit of methylene blue in and that will help from the eggs uh, so they don't fungus. But once they're at this stage and wiggling and moving around, uh, they no longer need the methylene blue. I normally have an air stone or um, a small sponge filter in here, but I have so much going on right now. As you can see, I couldn't even put these guys in a tank. I have so many different batches of fry. These guys are just in a jar. I change, do a little water change every day or so. Um, usually one to two times a day, actually. But um, now that they're at this stage, once they become free swimming shortly after this, then you need to start feeding them. So now we're gonna move over to some free swimming ones. Now over here are some free swimming little guys. As you can see, this batch is pretty small. Uh, there's a few groups in the different corners, but a lot of them um, aren't with us anymore because I don't work really long shifts this week. And when they're at this stage, they need to be fed about every four hours. Um, you can start with um, Hikari first bites, but when they first start eating, sometimes I like to go a little smaller than that. So I go with uh, gold, what are they, the gold orbs. 
but Hikari first bites still work. But preferably the very best to use is fresh hatched uh, baby brine shrimp. That will be the best because it also gets their attention and it's full of the most nutrients possible. You can see right away uh, how hungry they are based on if you can still see the orangeness in their belly of the baby brine or the first bites. That's one of the great things about those being so uh, brightly colored. But they will be like this um, and you need to feed them every you know four to six hours and It'll take a little while, but after a handful of days as this, then you can start taking longer to feed them and it gets easier. But after feeding them like this and also doing a lot of water changes, I do a ton of water changes as well as have a, a filtered, sorry, a cycled sponge filter in with them. Then they will finally move on to the next stage. And here we are with the next stage. These guys are now fully getting their shape and everything. Uh, sorry, I didn't have any in between the last one and these ones. For a while, they'll just get larger and it takes a little bit for them to really get this uh, shape to them. This is a pretty far along thing. These guys are a couple weeks old. And um, yeah, as you can see, I have all the filters turned off at the moment. Another thing is I usually heat my fish room, so, but with the fry, I usually still have a heater in there just to be safe. But yeah, so these guys, I don't have to feed them every four hours, but I still prefer to feed them uh, close to that if possible, because you know, the more you feed them, the quicker they'll grow. And it's just good for these little guys to eat as much as they can. But I do uh, make sure to do at least one water change a day, a good percentage too, over 50% water change. Um, especially in a smaller thing like this. Another tank that I've been working with that works a lot better for me, I've learned, are these much taller ones. They get to spread out a lot. And as the food drops down, uh, most of it gets eaten before it even hits the ground, so there's no food kind of building up at the bottom. But yeah, I keep them in like this, and uh, you know, as long as you feed them good food, and uh, as often as, basically as often as they want to eat, you're gonna end up with some nice, happy, healthy uh, angel fry. And uh, you know, once they become adults, then they'll pair off, start making babies of their own, and uh, that's the cycle of life. So it's been about a day since I last uh, filmed the first part of these uh, wigglers. They've, they're finally free swimming now. Um, you can see some of them are getting up near the top. And they've basically completely run through their um, yolk sacs. So now they need to start eating. And uh, I usually start them off with some golden pearls, the five to 50 micron size. Um, you can start them off on first bites, but uh, the first bites are gonna be, you know, about the size of their mouths, maybe bigger. So they might have trouble eating them at first. I prefer to start with something a little smaller but if you can't find anything else, the first bites, you know, you can find those at any fish store, basically. But yeah, so they're just finally ready to eat. These guys are, what, probably six days since they first hatched, I think, or since they were laid. Uh, it takes about three days for them to hatch, and then they're wigglers for two or three days. And then once they're free swimming, that's when you got to start feeding them. So once you see them climbing up and moving around like this, that's about time to start feeding them. As you can see better in this video, oh, see, I don't want to get too close because you can scare them into eating their own eggs. Oh, hope that's not what he's doing right now. Shoot. See, that's why you don't want to scare them. But I was trying to show 
is that white one in there. That is the egg that went bad. Um, usually when I pull the eggs, which I'm going to do pretty soon now, I'll use a pipette to remove the eggs that um, have gotten white. And then uh, that way they won't fungus up the rest because they turn white because they haven't been fertilized properly. Ooh, yeah, I think he's really going at those. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this. So I just used the tongs and scissors there to grip the leaf and cut it at the edge and pull it out quickly so the parents couldn't panic and eat their eggs. We're now able to get a good close up. Sorry. It's a little cloudy um, of the eggs, which are all across this leaf. And I'm going to go ahead and probably do kind of a musical chairs switch with moving the wigglers there or free swimmers now into probably this tank move these guys into the bigger tank down there probably leave these guys in that tank and put these guys in the jar and put a little bit of methylene blue in with them to make sure none of the eggs fungus up So before calling it quits, I thought I would quickly show uh, the foods I use and in what order. Originally, like I told you, I used the golden pearls, the 5 to 50 microns, which is a great nutritious first food. Um, after that, we have the first bites, Hikari first bites. And between these two, I would also have the um, fresh hatched baby brine shrimp. You can also use frozen, but fresh hatched is going to be a lot more nutritious. And um, around that area, once they start to grow up and get some shape, I've been using also this uh, aquarium co-ops small fish slash fry food. Um, like it says on the bottle, it is super easy to feed. And um, sometimes even if I don't have a refill on this, I'll just crush up uh, regular flakes. Once you get it to a small enough point, the fish will eat it. Uh, I don't feed this or this until they are maybe, I don't know, a handful of days into free swimming. Once they really start to get a little bit of size on them and can handle larger food. But for the first um, week or so, I'd stick with the littler ones. And uh, hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, let me know. Well, hopefully you learned something good from that. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know below and I'll try and answer as best I can. Uh, also, let me know if there's anything particular that you would like to see the next video based on. And, um, well, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you around.